Counting down Australia's top 10 cricket batters of all time. Welcome to the Reverse Scoop, and today we are breaking down the top 10 Australian cricket batters of all time. It is Team Adam versus Team Nabil. Top 10 breakdown. Let's go, Nabil. What you got? Kick us off. My number 10 may be a bit controversial for some of the Australian fans, but I'm going to go with Stephen Smith at number 10. Over 8,000 test runs at an average of 60. Steve Smith's considered as one of the test batsmen of a modern era. I'm looking at it from a different perspective, Adam. I know what you're thinking Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We just started a top 10. We just started a top 10 Australian batters list, and you got Smith at 10? That's absolutely right, How is Steve right, Smith man. at 10? How? What? Explain yourself. Steve Explain Smith's yourself. still playing, right? He's still playing cricket. He's still got a long way to go in finishing his career. So by the time he finishes it, maybe he climbs up the ladder. But so I this is think, outrageous. Honestly, honestly, I think he was maybe like number seven, you know, before he started opening the innings. But... Since his is the Australians the innings, in the chat are going to go he's nuts. At 10, and who knows? He opens up a couple more innings. He's going to drop out of this 10. Oh my God. Oh <laughs> my God. Wow. The Beal coming out swinging. The Beal coming out swinging. Steve Smith in a 10. Somehow the Beal has found nine other batters to go ahead of Steve Smith in the all time test <laughs> batting <laughs> rankings. Yeah, nah, not happening there. I'm not, not happy with that one. My top 10, Mark Taylor. I have Mark Taylor in. Mark Taylor, let's go. 104 matches, 186 innings. 7,525 runs. Top score retired 334. You're tied on a certain person's score right there. He had an average of 43.49 and uh, he scored his hundreds, 1900s. There may be other players that may deserve that number 10 spot by the time we finish this top 10 though, but oh. you guys let us know what you guys think. Let us know in the chat. Yeah. Let us know in the chat. Do you think, do you think there is nine better batters than Steve Smith? You guys announce, you guys let us know in the comments, you know, who wins this battle between Team Nabil and Team Adam. We're going to go up to number nine now, Adam. So, you know, head to head, I'm gone Steve Smith, number 10. You've gone Mark Taylor. Let's move on to number nine. Who are you picking? I have Justin Langer in at number nine. Arguably one of the greatest openers of all time. One of the greatest mm. pair opening partnerships of all time. I have Justin Langer in at number nine. Justin Langer, 105 matches, 182 innings, 7,696 runs, highest score, 250, average of 45, strike rate of 54, and 23 test hundreds. Number nine. That's Who do you have at number nine, Nabil? That's a pretty, pretty impressive good. record. And, and here we pretty go good. again, you know? <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> I'm going with Mr. David Warner at number nine. <laughs> at number nine? Uh, yeah, man. man I want to see your list. All time list. This is an all time list. I want to see your list. Right. So David Warner recently retired from test cricket, you know, over 8,000 test runs, 45 average known for his explosive batting and, uh, you know, would probably make anybody's top 10. But for me, he le- he lands here at number nine. Again, you guys let us know head to head. What do you guys like? Right, who's guess- your number eight? Yeah. So number eight, I'm going with Neil Harvey. So I'm digging into the books. Neil Harvey was a key member of <laughs> Sir Donald Bradman's 1948 Invincibles. I know the... Big time Australian fans would would know this. He big was, time fans. You know, his ability to play both spin and pace with equal ease made him one of the most admired batsmen of his era. Yeah, he was part of that Invincibles man with you know Sir Donald. Was he? Bradman was and, he? Had he? Was he still? Was he still alive when I was born? Probably not. <laughs> Hey, but history is history, my friend. Wow, you know, my God, Nabil over right. here, the Aussie cr- cricket history buff, pulling one out, pulling one out from the deep over here. Harvey, okay, Harvey. Harvey, wow, okay. So who are you going? So, with? who are you going with? So Let's I have Warner. I have Warner. Warner in it eight. So I had Warner okay. was one better than Langer. Who wasn't? We were pretty close on the David Warner thing. I have David Warner as my eight guy. Um, that's, that's yeah, not Warner. Bad. As you, yeah, Warner. Uh, one hundred twelve tests, two hundred five innings, uh, eight thousand seven hundred eighty six runs, three hundred thirty five. Uh, not out. Big score. Got one more than a certain person. Average there of 44 and a half and a strike rate of 70 with 26 hundreds. Probably one of the, probably the highest strike rate of uh, any yeah. of the top 10 or even anyone probably outside of Gilchrist. Probably another good batter that has a super, a super high strike rate. But yeah, happy man at eight. That's number eight, man. All right. So I, 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 you know, I like that. Not bad. It's, I thought you would have Warner at like number three or something. Then I would have you know, done something about it. No, 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 Drinking no, or smoking, no, you know? <laughs> no, no. Warner's in at eight. All right. All right. Good, good, good. So 
before we move on, you know, I want to bring you guys a quick quiz question. We're going to answer this question a little bit later into the video, but we're going to drop it right here for you guys. So you guys can, you know, look at this question, drop your answers into the comments. Let us know, you know, the answer for this, see who wins it. And we're going to give that winner a shout out in our next video. So yeah, let's see who gets it right. We're going to move on to now number seven, right? So Adam, number who seven. are we going with number seven, man? Number seven, I have pop. I have Michael Clark in at number seven. My Michael Clark, 115 matches, 198 innings, 8,643 runs, highest score of 329 not out, average of 49.1, and he has scored he scored 28 hundreds. Clark was elegant, man. Elegant play, tactical, a versatile batsman, capable of adapting to different situations, and he made you know many memorable innings across all formats. And as captain led you know, to that famous World Cup win. I totally, you know, I'm in with you there, you know, but I think there's a better player for number seven. Who do you have a seven? I'm going to tell you right now, I, my number seven, you know, people might not put him in the top 10 because he may have been a, he's a, he's a wicked keeper, but his batting skill were just top notch. Adam Gilchrist is my number seven, you know, wow, small Gilly. List. yeah, absolutely. Gilly I mean, Gilchrist the revolutionized. He revolutionized the role of a wicked keeper batsman, right? He was a batsman. Uh, first and then a wicket keeper in my opinion and his aggressive style and explosive hitting just changed the game entirely especially for okay. the era that we watched test cricket so i think he had a huge impact on australian cricket and from that impact i have him in this top 10 i mean this is yeah this is a controversial take right here that the gilchrist bringing in would you say number seven it's yeah. one of those things where statistically he didn't play a lot of games. Like he only batted 137 times considering that he, you know, would have played like seven, right? He would have batted at number seven yeah. in the test team. Whereas in the ODI squad, he's batting at number one. So 137 innings is for 550, sorry, 5,570 runs. High score of 204. Strike rate of 81. And 1700. So, not a bad pick to have in there. I would, you know, considering he only had scored 5,000 ish runs, I, if you're going to put him in there, 5,000 ish test runs. He almost has also 10,000 ODI runs. And we're, well, this is, this is, this is, this is test right right here. Um, Yeah, test too. But I mean, I'm kind of adding like an all time flavor in there, you know, because he's, Looking at cricket, he scored 15,000 international runs, right? So, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. If we were saying, yeah, if we were saying all time, like as a cricketer, 100%, like one of the technically, yeah, if you were saying best batters of all time, yeah, Adam Gilchrist is absolutely one of the best batters of all time. So, yeah, it is kind of interesting you put him in the list because statistically, you know, he's not really in the top 10. The cool facts about Adam Gilchrist, he actually has scored the most test sixes. He has 100 yeah, test sixes too. to his name, which yeah. is, you know, more than 30 more than anyone else. You know, that's that's, that's a cool that's a cool fact. That's so, yeah, insane. no, I'm happy with I have, I'm happy with Adam Gilchrist being in the list. Gilchrist was just a game changing player, man, in my opinion. And I, I had to have him in this list. I don't have Michael Clark in my top 10. I'm already giving you guys a bit of teaser there. No, Clark. I, hang, on, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No hang on, Clark guys, he's come out and said that there's no Michael Clark in his top 10. How is that possible? Nope. How is that no possible? Clark in my top 10, man. 329 highest score right there. How How is 8,000? Hey, okay, okay <laughs> let me ask you this. Do you have Neil Harvey in your top 10? <laughs> Who's that? Who? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of fans would say, dude, why don't you have Neil Harvey in your number 10? So, or, you know, let us know 10. in the chat. Let us know in the chat if we know who Neil Harvey is in the chat. If you know who Neil Harvey is? You know, if you know who Neil Harvey know. is, drop it in if the you know, chat. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> if, you know you, if you know, you know. That's absolutely right. And before so, we move on to, I think we're on number six, right? We're going to drop this answer for our fans. Answer this question. Short in stature, this Tasmanian was known for his feisty batting. He has played. 107 tests for Australia and scored 7,000 plus runs with an average of 43.65. If you guess David Boone, then you got the answer correct. That's the right answer right there. And if you got it right, you will get a shout out from us on our next video. Uh, be on the lookout for another question coming up after number six. So uh, let's get into number six, Adam. Number you know, six. my number six. Yeah, my number six, I'm going to let you know, is Matthew Hayden. You know, Matthew Hayden Wait, is one no of the all time greats. Well, I have, Hayden, have, I have like, Hayden at six. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you finally back on something. Man. Match on something. You both got the same number yeah. six. Yeah. There you yeah, go. That's pretty cool. Matt Hayden, 103 matches, 184 innings is 8,625 runs. Highest score, 380. 
Average of 50.73, strike rate of 60, and he scored one, sorry, scored 30 hundreds. What a player, man. Wow. Eidos is just uh, one of my personal favorites and just uh, a monster, man, like a beast of a player, you know, as they say. In- Langer Hayden show. I love watching yeah. Langer Hayden to get opening bat. Oh. As an opening batter myself, that was yeah. like who I aspired to. That was like my the peak era, like when I was batting and playing cricket. Hados was the opener for Australia. Um, absolute right. role model. Also a good chef, by the way. He has a cookbook, by the way. Also a good yeah, chef. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> as well as He's being also a been a mentor, bat. you know, to a lot of like, you know, young cricketers and, you know, has groomed a lot of cricketers or has worked with Pakistan cricket team a lot. So this guy, man, is he's just been doing a lot off the field and on the field. He was a hero on the off the field. He's a hero, you know, servant of the game. One of my favorite players, Matthew Hayden. And, you know, I'm sure one of Adam's favorites, too. Matthew Hayden. You know, one we at least favorites. match on something there. Yeah. Number five. Number five. five? Yeah. Number five I'm going with I'm going with the person that takes my name, takes my initials. A B. Alan Border. Number five. Alan okay. Border, number five. Alan Border, cool, he, man. you know, one of the greatest Australian test captains. 156 yeah. matches, 265 innings, uh, 11,174 runs, highest score, five, 205, average 50.56, strike rate of 41, and he scored 20 seven hundreds that's wow, my that's number pretty... five spot right there i have him in there somewhere too but he's not a number <laughs> five for me you know for at five i have mr steve war steve okay was always known for his mental toughness and his ability to perform under pressure as a key figure in the australia's dominance during the 90s and early 2000s he led the team to 16 consecutive test victories now that's some achievement that was a world record at the time and his leadership was marked by a relentless pursuit of excellence uh, and he played a pivotal role in winning the 1999 World Cup and obviously the steely resolve and ability to inspire his teammates have made him you know one of Australia's legendary cricketers and you know I had to have him again in here his, his you know stats you know 10,927 test runs 32 centuries speak for themselves led the team from the front and one of the key figures in setting up that Australian dominance from 90s into 2000s. Steve War, amazing cricketer I mean I remember watching the perfect day perfect day I remember watching it with my dad at home him scoring a hundred before like on the last ball the day's play to score his hundred no incredible captain not only in the tests but the odis going to the world cup all that kind of stuff you know that was again my era uh i was really young yeah, watching too. that and then coming into the punting era then coming into the clock era yeah no steve war you got him in at five you're saying five i got him in at five we're getting into the top four and before we get into the top four i'm going to drop the second quiz question for you guys in his career as opener, he played 74 tests with an average of 42.83 with 14 centuries and a top score of 219. Can you identify this well-known cricketer and commentator? We'll drop the answer, you know, closer to the end of the video. So let us know in the comments what you guys think, uh, you know, all of the answers. And again, the winner of the this question will get shout outs in the next video from us. So yeah, we're getting into the top four, Adam. Let's do it, man. What do we got? Top four. Number four for me, I have Steve Smith. Your 10 slot, I have is my fourth slot. Wow. Uh, Steve Steve Smith, 109 uh, matches, 195 innings, 9,685 runs, highest score, 239, average of 56, strike rate, 53, and 3,200. So I have Steve Smith above Alan Border. Alan Border has scored more runs, but technically, if you're looking statistically, Smith has an average of 56, Border has an average of 50, and Smith has yeah. scored 3,200s, and Alan Border has scored 2,700. So I have Smith above Border. I have Alan Border <laughs> at number like four. I have Alan Border at four. He scored, you know, so. he scored more hundreds than Alan Border. He scored more hundreds than he Alan Border. He scored more runs. You know, he hasn't like, retired no, yet. The, Steve Smith's still playing. No, no, playing. no. And, yeah, I know. And who but, knows, so man? The way his the way the trajectory is going, we're we're probably gonna find him at fifteen or something no. by the time. The chat, the chat's gonna career. lose their mind over this. The chat's gonna lose their mind. St- uh, Steve I Smith know, has man. only had hundred and ninety five innings, so he has eighty less innings than Alan Border, and he scored more hundreds already. So, like, if w- add eighty more innings to his career, he's gonna yeah. probably have the most most hundreds of all time if he keeps playing and have to consider he had he had a whole year ban he was banned for a year i get it i get it but again if he keeps opening (laughs) i hardly see 
maybe a century coming in the next 20 test matches from him. I don't know. He should go back to number four. Then maybe he could do he could do well. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know how everybody else will feel. But we'll see. We'll see in, you know, 20 test we'll matches. See. And, uh, you know, everything will be in front of us. And, uh, yeah, Steve Smith at Who's four. Who's your number four? You know, Alan Border. I went with him for the impact. You know, the era that he played in. Because I think he had to really deal with the most challenging period in Australian cricket at that time. So just that impact. And the impact his runs made, I feel, were much bigger than Steve Smith. So that's why I have him at number four. Um, I think we're getting into the top three. Had, you, you, had border, you had border, right? Yeah. You had border then. Alan so border. you have border then war. Yes. F- yeah. War Got five. It. Got it. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to actually recap our top seven so far. So you guys have an idea of, uh, you know, where we stand and you guys can start to vote on what you guys think on our top sevens and obviously their top tens when we finish off. Adam, you want to go through your top 10? Yeah, to recap, Mark Taylor at 10, Justin Langer at 9, David Warner at 8, Michael Clark at 7, Matthew Hayden at 6, Alan Border at 5, and I had Steve Smith at 4. All right, and my list is uh, Steve Smith at 10, David Warner at 9, Neil Harvey at 8, Adam Gilchrist at 7, Matthew Hayden at 6, Steve War at 5, Alan Border at 4. So Here head to head. Top you three. Know. Who's ahead? Here we go to the top three. We're, we're, we're getting into the top three. So I went with Greg Chappell. 7,110 runs, average of 53.86. Played in an era of 1970 to 1984. Chappell was known for his elegant and technically sound batting style, which made him a dominant force in the Australian middle order with a superb batting average of over 53. Chappell was renowned for his ability to play both attacking and defensive cricket with equal prowess. He also served as a successful captain leading Australia during a tra- transformative period in the 70s and 80s and was very exceptional with his, uh, with his strategic mind and uh, cricketing skills, you know, shaping the future of Australian cricket. So uh, Greg Chappell, I have, again, for the impact that the man had on Australian cricket and the heaps of runs that he scored in that era at that average is, is pretty significant. Greg Chappell is not on my list. Greg Chappell is well, on my list, but yeah, 7,100. No 7, Greg Chappell, Adam, really? No Greg no Chappell on my Chappell. list. I, th- no. I, I think your Australian mates will eat you alive for that, bro. I don't know. You guys, again, let him know in the comments if you miss Greg Chappell in your top 10. You know, so. He, missed, he just missed it. He missed out on my top 10 list. Yeah. Greg Chappell, yeah. he scored, he scored 24, yeah, 24 hundreds from 150 innings. Is strike rate of 51. Strike rate's up there. Your average is 53. One of the more, one of the more higher averages, I guess, of yeah. the, uh, of the especially, list there, but especially on those pitches, Adam, they, they played on unprepared pitches, muddy pitches. So the, the, the conditions weren't as great as they are now for batting these days. So those, those no, I, can res- I can respect chapel on the list. I just, he just he didn't make my 10. I was, it was a tight 10. It was a, yeah, it was a tight 10. So didn't who, make who it. you went with that number three? Who you, uh, so I have number three. I have, I have Steve Warren at three. So I had Steve war above Smith and above border. So my my thoughts on this. So Steve War has 168 matches, 260 innings, is 10,927 runs, high score of 200, average of 51 and 3,200. So when judging my my list, I put Stephen Smith above border because Steve Smith had more hundreds, and I put. Um, war above Smith because war has more hundreds and runs. That's that's how I had. Mm-hmm. I got Steve War above border, even though border scored more runs. Uh, war had more hundreds. I included like I can, like I the impact that. of how many how many actual hundreds you made matters because like you technically could be in the team for a long period of time, score a lot of runs, but like the hundred is like the pinnacle score. That's right. Well, it's a pretty pretty solid number three, I think, as well. Some people may find it a bit controversial, but after listening to your, you know, like backing, I think it's it's fair. It's fair. I can I can give you that. Yeah, fair. I'm jugg- I'm juggling basically total runs, and I'm juggling strike rate, and I'm juggling how yeah. many hundreds they made. That's that's kind of where I'm putting it together. So, who do you have for Sounds number good. two? Number two, I'm going with one of the greatest captains in Australian history, Mr. Ricky Ponting. 13,378 test runs, 41 century, 13,704 ODI runs, scored you know, almost 28, 7,000 runs in international cricket and 30 centuries in there as well. So 71 centuries across international cricket, just an amazing player and one of my favorites again, man. Absolutely. No, no doubt. Number two batter of all time for Australia is Ricky Ponting. I also have Ricky Ponting in at number two. 
Look at him right Big there. Yeah. Punter right there. Yeah, 287 innings is 13,378 runs. Highest score, 257. Average of 51 and 41 hundreds. 41 hundreds is by far the most hundreds. It's not even it's not even a close race there on, on who has the most hundreds. Uh, with 62 fifties, he actually beats... Uh, Alan Border has actually has more 50s. That's actually the biggest discrepancy in the 50s to race. Like Alan Border would be, you know, he has Alan Border has 63 50s and 27 hundreds. Ricky Pointing has 41 hundreds and 62 50. So, you know, um, amazing uh, captain, test, ODI, fielder, of obviously also amazing, all around, all around cricketer, uh, out here doing some work in the US, you know, helping with the MLC. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no doubt. I think number two, I think everyone can agree. Number two, Ricky Punning. He's a pivotal player, you know, and just the, you know, the way he shaped and used his leadership skills to lead Australia to that dominance. It was just three World Cup victories. I mean, he set those up, right? You know, by making that team. So he was such a pivotal figure. Plus the Ashes, yeah. plus Ashes Tours. Oh, yeah. Ashes Tours won. Like, yeah, and he was a res- well-respected, like, nobody, you know, if, if Ponting said something, that was the end of it. Best pull shot so of that, all time. Best pull shot, no doubt. Best pull shot. Oh, best best pull shot of all time right there. Absolutely Hit him with the answer agree. to the question, Bill. All right, so let's, uh, you know, give you guys the answer to this. The answer is Mr. Michael Slater. Slater played for Australia from 1993 to 2001, played 74 test matches, and scored 5,312 runs with 1,400s and 2,150s. You guys got this answer right. Shout outs coming to you in our next ranking Flats. video. So yeah, Nabil, before we before we tell them the number one we each picked, let's uh let's each give an honorable mention. Someone that didn't make the list that could have made the list but didn't. Who do you have as an honorable mention? You have an honorable mention? I'm going to give the honorable mention to Michael Clark. Uh, Michael Clark yeah. for me, you know, okay. he just, just he just missed out on the top 10 for me, right? So yeah. I got to I gotta throw him in there with the special mention. Again, he was a very elegant player. I think he was just hampered with injuries a little bit. He was a full all-rounder, great left arm off spinner uh, as well, you know, didn't use himself as much because of the injuries uh, and such. But I think if he was fit throughout his, throughout his career, his numbers would have been hell of a lot better and he probably would have been top five in my list if you what did I, I had him in at number seven i mean with a yeah. top score of 329 not out i mean i don't know how he doesn't make the top 10 but i had him in there my honorable mention goes to mark war brother to steve would technically be actually if you technically look at the most runs of all time by australian test batters he's actually in the top 10 but i didn't have him in my top 10 because he's the only batter of the top 10 technically to not score 200 his highest score was 153 so he scored 8029 uh test runs with 20 209 innings is highest score 153 average of 41 and he scored 20 hundred so He's my honorable mention has, you know, the top He's in the top 10 for most. He's number eight of most runs of all time, but didn't get a 200. So that was kind of like my little asterisk against his name. I would have had him in at number 11. Sounds pretty good, man. Sounds pretty good. And, uh, you know, I think number one, it's probably fair to say that we'll probably have the same number one because of just the sheer brilliance of the man. So I think... I want you to start to say your number one, but give some facts about it. Don't announce the name. I want to see if fans can guess this number one. So this okay. Australian test batsman played in 52 tests, 80 innings, had 10 not outs, scored 6,996 runs, had a high score of 334, average of 99.94, <laughs> strike rate, a 58 and scored 29 hundreds. Yeah, we have the same. We have the same guy. And uh, if you guys guessed it into the comment, it's right. It's Sir Donald Sir. Bradman. Make sure to check out on the screen right here. Top 10 Australian bowlers of all time. Until next time, Nabil Khan at Adam Bannon from the Reverse Scoop signing off.